Hey YouTube, just wanted to show you guys this uh, flyback here. I finally have it worked out with a um, safety gap. Seems to work out pretty well. Decreases the risk of it arcing over to the conductors inside that container there. Little DBS driver over there. I'll show you guys that afterwards. I had to make a few changes to it. But uh, in this video, I'll definitely be hammering the poor ZVS driver. Push it to uh, just about 55, 60 volts. Put that voltmeter right there in the screen so you guys can see. But uh, before I get started, I just wanted to thank all of you for taking the time to watch my videos and leaving a comment on them. I uh, really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated to keep showing you guys this awesome stuff. So, all right. I'll show you what uh, 55 volts can do with this setup. Five volts, the safety gap fires. Sixty volts. Awesome. Zoom in a little for you guys. Looks like we've got some smoke over here from these primary windings. They definitely can't handle too much of that. Take the camera off the tripod and show you the driver. leads right here get quite uh, quite tacky after a little bit of that I'm starting to melt but they're only 16 gauge conductors so they're definitely not meant for what I just did to the poor things <laughs> that's the safety gap Normally I wouldn't push a ZVS driver that hard with resistors so small, but uh, those actually don't get too hot. The main thing that I find to warm up are these capacitors here. This one actually is beginning to swell. It's quite hot to the touch. Three, three of them on each side in parallel. Try and dissipate some of the heat, but it only does so much. As far as the flyback goes, no issues at all. The oil is still very, very cool. So hopefully in the future I'll just build a more powerful uh, ZVS driver, some larger conductors. But overall, I don't think it was too bad. Well, all right, guys. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. Take care and uh, stay safe.